Hello, my name is Michal Bernatan. I'm an associate professor in the Leukemia program in Well Cornell Medical Center and New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York. I'm happy to be here in sunny San Diego for the ASH 2023. Relapse Refractory AML has a poor prognosis and new treatments are needed. In this meeting, we are hearing many abstracts about new uh, treatment options for these patients. I'm specifically excited about the menin inhibitors. The interaction between menin and KMT2A, which is an epigenetic regulator, is a dependency in acute leukemia that are dis coming from KMT2A rearrangement or NPM1 muta mutations. The development of new oral specific inhibitors interrupt this interaction and lead to leukemic cell differentiation and cell death. In this meeting, we, we heard two abstracts so far about the menin inhibitors in clinical trials. The first was presented by Dr. Jabour they with, the, with the inhibitor JNJ75276617. Phase one trial in relapse refractory AML patient with KMT2A rearrangement or NPM1 mutation. They treated 86 patients. The patient was heavily pretreated with a median of three previous lines and one quarter of them had previous transplantation. This was a monotherapy uh, trial. The, the, the medication was uh, very well tolerated, with notable 12% uh, developing differentiation syndrome, which was uh, reasonably mitigated by regular measures. The overall response rate was 44%, with 26% of the patient achieving CR, CRH, or CRI. The, uh, the distribution of responded were between, equal between both NPM1 and KMT2A rearrangement. The uh, responses was durable with more than six months median duration. The second trial was presented by Dr. Issa. They wanted to enhance the single agent treatment and they combined a different menin inhibitor, the Revomenib, with chemotherapy. In the same trial, they gave oral decitabine with venetoclax and Revomenib for patients with relapse refractory AML. They treated nine patients and they have overall response rate of 100%. Uh, they CRCRI was 46%, with 67% of the patients achieving MRD negative uh, 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 responses. Half of the patients were able to proceed with stem cell transplant. So, this is very exciting data. I'm looking forward to hear the late breaking abstract. This will be presented by Dr. Aldoz about the Augment 101 trial, which is a, we're going to report the phase two results of the Revomenib in patients with relapse refractory. A, a acute leukemia. At Cornell, we currently have an open trial with a different menin inhibitor, ziftomenin, which was previously reported to be very effective. We have a, the trial is open for both relapse refractory as well as upfront patients with the combination of chemotherapy, both intensive chemotherapy as well as non-intensive chemotherapy. We are looking forward to continue treatment with this drug and hopefully uh, uh, improve the outcome of those patients. Thank you.